welcome to part 7 uh, of this uh, Super Mario World Let's Play and if you can remember from way back we are still in the forest evolution there's a couple more levels left to do um, there are a couple more secrets actually as well um, I think some of the secrets just extend paths and stuff like that so so um, let's go and have now a look and see where we are so as you can see here we are on this horrible water level but I'm going to go back to my favourite room and pick up some life insurance because underwater levels this game works in strange logic because if you're underwater you can shoot fire don't know how that works but there you go let's go all the way back to here bit of a trek, we'll be doing that quite a bit oh, I've done this wrong bear with me two seconds while I go back in again let's just get the life it's just trying to remember what all the exits and entrances and routes through the levels on um, Forest Evolution actually do. Really. Because I think, from what I can remember, it's been a while since I've done this, I, th I think some of the paths... I think some of the paths crisscross. I think the the level down there, I think this one here, if you complete it in a certain way it opens a path across to the water level because paths. <laughs> I don't know why they, did, they designed it like that. Another level which I think is a good, it'd be good to have a turbo controller because then you can just spam fireballs oh, goodness sake Yoshi get back here oh. yes just keep coming <coughs> So now I'll remember where to go for this level. There is another route through this level. I'm trying to remember where it is. It's not that one. Walking along the floor, you do move. Mind fudgingly slow. Can you kindly hit that box? Thank you. Right, so actually, let's try going down here. It's not this one. And I went that way the last time, so. Again, like I said in the, the previous video, it is stupidly cryptic and annoying secret that that's in this level and involves walking through a wall so trying to remember which wall it is that you walk through could you go away Mr. Fish because oh, you are really irritating me we could fly through this level I may or may not have missed it. I think I have actually, because this is right at the end of the level. Just... You stop there, Mr. Fish. Nope, there it is there. Here it is here. 
You notice that this that level is actually that part of the wall is in the background, not the foreground. And there we go. I'm hoping now that this will give me yeah, it goes off to the side here. And voila, there folks how you get the blue switch palace. I forgot it's actually this side, not the left hand side. Yes, this is this is what they call insane. But what you can do is you turn all them into silver coins, you collect all the silver coins, you get a life. But not that it really matters too much. I've got seven at the moment. So you go, there is the blue switch palace. Collected. And like the end of all switch palaces, it spews out blue blocks everywhere. Now, completing this level correctly, which we're going to do, I say correctly, the other way. To do that, press select and that swaps the two round. Fire is considerably more useful. Also, you may have noticed last time I had Yoshi that if you eat an enemy with Yoshi, oh, for goodness sake, you turn it into a coin. Oh, I did absolutely nothing. That can be kind of evil, right? So we're not going to try and we're not trying to go the the secret way this time. So we can make a lot better time fleeing through this level. I really don't like this level that much. It's not much fun. You now have completed all these switch palaces in the game. There are no more. Ow. Go back to sleep, you irritating pains. Yes, this is a this is a gauntlet. Oh there we go. I know this is one of these levels where you can quite easily get the, the the maximum mark going through the goalposts, but we don't we need the maximum mark. I think the maximum is 50. So you'll notice now this brings you around to here. The last of these levels will then plonk you down at that castle. But what we're going to do now is, because we're almost finished the Forest of Illusion, we're going to take a little visit back to our favourite little room one what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this episode I'm also going to show you how to get Star Road. So we go all the way there are five exits and entrances to Star Road and five levels but also a bunch of levels which were designed to be mind-blowingly irritating. Oh, Yoshi, you're a pain in my backside. You really are. This level is just all about platforming. Purely and simply. A lot of other levels are 
as well. There's a lot of platforming in them, but this is this is one of these levels which is old school classic platforming. Going both up and down. Now I need this. It's right here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Now that we have the blue switch pass. Oh, for goodness sake. Notice we have <laughs> so blue switch palace. You plant you plant the bot the spring on those blocks, and you go come to this exquisitely irritating extra exit, which does have a goal post. Excuse me, and there you have the first. Entrance stroke exit to Star Road. A quick jump across to Star Road. Star Road is really quite good because you get the different types of Yoshis here. So, Star World. Again, these levels are irritating and can be a bit cryptic with the way that you go through them. Some of them are Ridiculously easy. Some of them are not. This one gives you, as you notice there, Yoshi ate the star and became big Yoshi. If he doesn't, he stays small Yoshi until he eats. Uh, I think it's ten enemies, but he will eat them himself. You don't have to, you just have to go near them and you eat them. The good thing about Blue Yoshi is that Blue Yoshi turns all shells that he eats into into uh, wings. Which regular Yoshi will turn them will only turn blue shells into wings. He will turn this Yoshi will turn all of them into wings. Which is quite useful. So you, you'll need that for some of the other star... well, it's called Star World, but... I've always called it Star World. There you go, notice at the top right hand of the screen there that the number of coins tallied over. Another thing you can do in this level, if you are daring enough, is this. Swim underneath where the pipe is at the end and you are granted with this. And you'll notice that's how you finish that level. Doing it the other way, which we can go and quickly do now, that turns now like all Yoshi eggs once you've already got Yoshi into a life. that this actually, the star has carried over the second time round so you can really rank up the lives and if you want you if you want blue Yoshi again come into this level, start and select and you leave no you irritating blue monstrosity <laughs> Yeah, one of these levels you'll need Blue Yoshi because you need to fly and you'll notice doing that just takes you back to the star it's... right let's go back in here again because I think one of these, I'm not sure which one it is, but one of these does require Blue Yoshi 
start, then select, and you're out of the level. If you make a mistake on that, if you mess that up, um, you'll have to carry Baby Yoshi. Uh, right, this, this level gives you a lovely... gives you... Uh, yellow Yoshi. What you need to do here is you need to kill the Kutu and go up here. And you'll notice that you only have a small amount of time on this. Pull the key across and there you have the end of this level. But it also means ditching Yoshi. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to get Yoshi again. You'll notice that this one, this level, this level here functions by and large like a regular level. A lot of these other levels, however, don't. It requires a it requires um, a specific exit to them. Notice just now that when I've I've eaten that sh I, I've eaten that shell, you get wings. But the the shells do still. You'll notice the f the red shell red shells still turn into fire. The the green ones still remain as a shell when you spit them out as to the blue ones. Another really useful Yoshi is the yellow Yoshi. So yellow Yoshi, what yellow Yoshi does is yellow Yoshi turns all shells into a stomp shell. And there aren't that many of them kicking about in this game. You may have noticed them in some levels. The stomp shells. Um, it's that uh, glowing shell that goes absolutely crazy and tries to kill you. Okay, so you'll notice here Green Switch Palace, Red Switch Palace gives you these boxes and you climb under here and this is how you finish this level. Okay, so I may be wrong, that does actually function. You can complete that level as a a real level if you so desire. But again it just points you back at the star. Star World 5? Star World 5 is just while it's just a mind-numbing pile of evil. Because what you need to do, if you're not really careful, is you need to avoid all those irritating, falling um, platforms. Eat a shell and fly, because otherwise you're going to... Um, that bit you need to fly across, otherwise you're stuffed. Basically. You'll notice here that this one, uh, my baby Yoshi, is eating the enemies just by himself. Trying to remember how there you go. So many and you've turned into a full grown Yosh. Back onto these again. And you now get to see this in action. It turns all the shells into ground pounds.
Also, if you leave the the shell in his mouth for long enough, we'll just swallow it. Alright, then he can't go down any of these pipes. You really need to eat one of those um, shells, because I think you just have... it's just a... a chasm. That... yeah, there we go, that level there did actually act as a regular level. Uh, it'll take some go some remembering, but if you... on my part, if you complete this level in a specific way, there's a hidden little gem on that level, which creates a star on top of the hill. And yet again, a kind of more Zelda levels of cryptic nonsense will create a warp at the top of that hill. And when you complete that, when you go on that warp, you get to a bunch of special hidden levels. There's Star, and this is Star World 1. Star World 1, you'll find out now, is really quite irritating. Because you've got to bash your way through these. And this, this one will be this level here is trial and an error. You've got to know which way to go down to get through it correctly. Because if you don't, you follow it through and you just keep going down and down and down and down and down. So there you go, there is Star World, done and completed. Like I said, this level, this level here is quite an annoying one. Yeah, it does act, actually act as a regular level, so I made a mistake earlier. That one does, you, you complete it like a regular level. Um, there is a little hidden gem in there. I can't remember how you do it, I think it's one of these ones where either you, f you think you fall, you deliberately fall, I think. I honestly can't remember. Um, what we can do is we go away and save and in another episode I can come back to that. The next part of these is that they all act, I'll quickly show you, these are all warp points. That warps you back to where you came in. Star Road, that'll warp you to there. Because why you would want to warp to there I will never know. Yeah, see there it does say Star Road. This one warps you to there which will be very useful. The one down here warps you to... Bowser! So if you are feeling quite rebellious you can warp straight to Bowser and you can cut out the rest of the Forest of Illusion and... Cookie Island I think it's called or Cookie... something like Cookie Island I think it's called. So you can skip that, which is really quite nice. And this one, this point takes you way back here, which is really nice. You're kind of trapped though. I honestly, for the life of me, cannot remember how you... Because you can actually get to start... So I think you can get to Star Road from that ghost house up there. I think it, I think the path does actually join on to that, but frankly, it's one of those exits that um, the one onto there. I honestly have no idea how you actually get onto that. I think it's just one of those ha ha. You've been stuck. Um, the one down there. I honestly again. I think it's another exit from the ghost house. Or it's just one of those ones where you, um, it's one of those haha gotchas, you can't actually do anything about it. So we're going to go 
do this ghost house again. And we're going to... Now that's definitely... That one uh, is definitely one for the comment section. If you know how to actually... From that ghost house, if you know how to access Star Road from there, if you can, then kindly post in the comments below uh, how you actually do that, what route you take through the ghost house to allow you to, to do that. Or if it is just a, a ha ha ha, you've been... Um, stymied. If you notice that the one to Bowser, when you unlock it, it automatically puts the path in for you. So, I don't know if, if it's because it's... Um, something extra cryptic or... It's just that they needed somewhere for that point to put you on the map. I honestly don't know. So you'll notice now that we've had quite uh, a lot of levels done there. A couple of really good secrets have gone a while without actually showing you any secrets. Um, but on this one we have got two. We've got two. We've got Blue Switch Palace and we've got Star Road. And that's all the Star Road Worlds... <coughs> Star Road World? <coughs> Star World um, levels done as well. At some point I will go back and try and get the the special levels. Uh, there are, I think, something like seven or eight of them, and it, it just it's a line it um, of levels that loops round, and it has in big neon letters "special" at the top. That's just a ridiculously cryptic way um, you've got to go through. I honestly don't know if there's a way through that secret ghost house. All I know is there's a route to give you to the pipe. There might be a route to get you to Star Road. I honestly don't know. Um, my guess is it's just a it's just a warp that they've given you to warp there for a reason a, a reason for giving the point on the star. I don't know. Like I said, if you know how to do it, uh, post in the comments um, how you actually get to off Donut Ghost House you get there. Remember to like and subscribe the video. Cheers.